You know, the other day I got back from a 12-step meeting and I'm telling my wife, you know, I said, Brenda, you know something? Those people at that meeting, they don't like me. I can just tell they don't like me. And she goes, are you telling me that they don't like you, Terry? I go, yeah, I'm telling you they don't like me. She goes, how do you know? I said, I don't really know. I just can feel it. I can feel that they don't like me. And she said to me, you know, Terry, I think you think too much about yourself. And I laughed my head off. I go, you know, my, my sweetheart has nothing to do with recovery, but man, she can put it straight sometimes to me. And I laughed at myself and she's absolutely right. I can make things up in my head that are crazy and I can sit there and nurse those things and make them real, make them come true sort of thing within me, like emotionally, mentally, I can make that happen, you know? And how many times have we been around or been in situations that are very calming to us, nothing really going on, and how our mind could drift off into resentments or situations that are not true, you know? Like another one I always get myself into. When my parent, not my parents, my family doesn't call me, I always think they don't want to talk to me. You know, I call them up and you know, it's like they should be right there on the phone, picking it up, talking to me right off the bat. If they don't do that, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, they don't want to talk to me. They don't love me. They don't like me. They never return my phone calls. I can drift somewhere mentally. And let me tell you, that neighborhood is really ghetto. It really is. It's really ghetto. And how often do we do that? How often can we do that? And to me, it happens when things are calm, when things are going well. You know, the other day, I'm at my cottage stacking firewood and all I'm thinking about is these resentments or these problems I have with other people, the neighbors, for the last couple years, but nothing's going on. Nothing is going on. It's just me thinking about things. I don't know, sometimes I think the negativity makes me feel grounded from some sick, morbid way. If I'm in the, if I'm in the chaos, I feel grounded and I feel like I gotta work my program or something. I don't know, I don't really figure it out anymore. But what I do is when this stuff happens to me, is I usually voice it to somebody like Brenda or my sponsor or somebody at a meeting, or I do a mental exercise. And basically all it is, what I do, is I just understand that these thoughts really are coming, I'm generating them, or they're just floating in from my self-conscious. And I just do a mental exercise to pull myself back into reality and stop thinking about stuff that I have no business thinking about. And this is just an example of what I do when, when I get to these situations. And you guys can go on the bus if you want. Go ahead. I'm leaving in about 10 minutes. Okay. And I have to practice like mental exercise, like lifting weights. In early sobriety, my mind could wander off all the negativity in my life and all the problems in my life. And I would go there and I'd stay there, I'd get emotionally depressed, I'd get angry, I'd get resentful, I, I would get you know depressed, all those negative feelings, I'd get sad. But I felt like I had no control over my mind. It just would do that. And over time, I've done mental exercises that when I notice that happening to me, I bring it back into reality. I bring myself back into reality and I pay attention to what I'm doing at that very moment. And usually, what, what, when this stuff takes place is when things are going well or when there's calmness or when I'm just by myself. I start dreaming up these scenarios or they come into my head and my mind can wander off. You know, negativity and having not a great program in our life doesn't necessarily mean that things are bad in our life. Sometimes when things are calm in our lives, we can't handle that too. We have a problem with that. Sometimes I have a problem with that, especially after my cottage where there's been so much BS. It's been astronomical over the couple of years and I'm not used to the peace and quiet up there. So at times I want to dream up scenarios to get them back. And you know something? The only person it's wrecking, the only life is spoiling is myself. Every day I have to pay attention to the way I think. Don't let my thinking go down to the hood, to the ghettos, and bring me back into that negative, warped, depressed, sad feeling. Yeah, life isn't good sometimes, but you know something? It's a lot better than it ever was, and that's for sure, okay? So if you're doing that, you do have power over your thoughts, practice them, and you'll see. Like, you'll be like me. Eventually, you'll just it was be second nature, and you'll just focus on the task at hand, and you'll just do that and you won't wander. Even when people are talking with you, you won't wander. 
We need to exercise our minds and understand that we have control over our thoughts. We do have control, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Uh, if you could take a second, please subscribe. Hit that like button. I gotta get going. I got some people in my bus waiting here. And I gotta take off, okay? Thanks a lot. God bless. And remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Ciao for now.